Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these lacy colorful earrings. They're easy to make and I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them even if you are a beginner and you could always ask me anything in the comments. You could skip this intro, I have a few sentences more to say, but if you want you could skip it and go directly to the work because on, now I have chapters of my videos. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hit the bell if you still haven't. And in this way you will be inspired often, usually twice a week. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where, by the way, you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on my Instagram and Facebook pages. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are five colors of 11 oz seed beads or 10 oz seed beads, whatever you have, and you could use less or more colors and make less or more rows, so it's not obligatory to be the same. Here I use earring findings in copper color. This is monofilament, that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use fire line if you want or wildfire. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory but I use them if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay guys, now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. And I'm back and now I'm going to pick up 40 of these beautiful chameleon beads, my first and darkest color. Okay, I'll pick them up and then I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have my 40 beads and I slide those down until the end of this thread. And now I'm going to make a knot by making a loop and going twice with my tail thread through this loop, okay, just like this, and I'm pulling really gently, making sure my thread is between those two bits where I started my knot from, okay. I pull tight, it's a, a little bit tricky here. Okay, and now what I wanna do is go through some bits in this direction. Okay, just like this and I'm going to start here my first row and for my first row I need four of these dark beads okay I'm taking them and as I'm exiting here you see I skip one and two beads and go through the following two okay so now I have this then again, I'm taking four, okay, four beads. And as I'm exiting here, I skip the next two and go through the following two. Then what I need is that I take four beads, okay, four. And as I skip two, I go through the following two. You see what I'm doing? Okay. And now here, guys, I will do something differently. I will take six of these beautiful dark red beads. Okay, I have my six here. You see? And I'm going back here through this bit. Okay, now I have this. Now I'm going one bit away from here. Okay, one bit away, you see? And now what I want to do is take four of these beautiful dark red beads. Okay, four of them. Skip two and go through the following two beads.
then I'm going to pick up four more and skip two and go through the following two you see and now I will do this again for skip two and go through the following two okay so now I have this okay guys so now what I want to do is go eight beats from here now I'm two beats away from here one two three four five six seven eight so I'm going through two and now through six more four five six one two three four five one two three four five six seven eight so i'm going through eight beats in total counting from this red bead here then i'm going to skip this bead the central bead and when i go through the next eight beads i will be exiting in the same place but from the other side and you see here Mm, this bit that I'm skipping when I pull it in this direction and pull my thread a little bit it goes like this pops up and now I'm going through this next four and my goal guys is to exit through these dark red beads and I'm going through three of them the first three one two three okay now what I need to take next are two of them don't worry that it looks like this at this stage we'll fix it later okay I'm taking two and I'm going through these two beads again take two like this and go through the following two beads then take two and go here between this and this bit the first two bits of this element the larger element okay going like this pulling a little bit and here at the edge i want to add one bit and go through two okay and i'm making this beautiful angle here and then I take two more beads and as I'm exiting here in the same place between the first and the second thread bead, I'm going through these two beads. Okay, and I pull. It will start bending a little bit. Okay, then again two beads. Go here. Two beads and go here okay and as I'm exiting here now I won't go go back through this band here because when I go too many times it won't be possible later to go and attach my earring finding that is why I'm going to skip this one here at the edge and go through the following two beads okay in this way i'm going back in this direction and here i have one two three four beads four beads from the edge this is where i am and now what i do is take four of these beautiful orange beads okay four of them and as i'm exiting here i'm skipping the next one two and what i do is that i go through the following two just like this okay then i'm going to take four of these orange beads and as i'm exiting two beads away from the previous loop i'm skipping two and i'm going through the next two beads
then I need four and then you see the same thing I skip the following one too and go through the next two beads okay and here at the edge I will do the same thing I'm going to add six orange beads okay I have here my six orange beads you see them and I'm going back in circle through these bead just like this then I go one bead away from here and what I need are three times by four beads I will show you faster okay guys and now I'm here I just finished this row and what I need to do is go back back again not go through the band but back through the last bit that I'm exiting out of okay now I'm going through this one as well okay and now I will flip it's not obligatory but it's easier for me okay so I'm going to flip and here I'm going to pick up two and go through the following I will repeat it two more times okay and pay attention where I'm going here between this one and this one again through two beads in this direction then then here just one okay and two orange beads then here at the top through these two orange beads okay like this and then two times by two okay now I will start my next row but in order to do this I'm going some beads in this direction and then what I do is go back through four beads of my orange color okay now what I would like to do is flip and here I will repeat everything absolutely the same take four then skip two and go through the next two repeat this two more times and now take six go through one and repeat this three more times okay now I will go back the same way flip my work again 
Now I will add two up to here. And now it's time to add one. And here guys my last row will be a little bit different okay now I will flip my work and I will show you my last row now what I want to take are here five beads this time five not four okay and what I do is again skip two and go through the following two Okay, then again five, okay, skip two and go through the following two, then again five, skip two and go through the following two. Okay, and here I will take four beads. Okay, four, and I go back in circle through this yellow, like this. Then I go through one more bead. Okay, and I will repeat these steps until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this and in my next step I want to go back and make an additional final row, okay? And I'm going through this yellow and through the following two uh, green beads, okay? And I will flip my work because it's easier. Then I go through the next two uh, beads and I'm skipping the one in the center, I'm not going through it. Okay, I'm skipping it and when I pull it makes a nice angle. You see the difference between this angle and this angle. Okay, now I'm going to pick up just one of chameleon bead which is my darkest color and I go through the following two beads. Okay, just like this. Then I skip the one that's here on the top, this one and I go through the following two beads and I pull, then I take just one dark bead and I go through the following two then I skip the one that's on the top and I go here through my next bead this time I go only through one uh, green bead, not through both of them. And I take just one bead and I go here between those two green beads at one side of my work. Then I take just one green bead and go one bead away from this pointy top. Now I will take just one seed bead and go here between those two green beads from this side, okay? Now I have this. Again, I skip the top 
and this time I go through two green beads. I'm exiting next to my yellow. I need one. Then again I go through two. Skip the top and go through the two beads after that. And pull this to go outside and take one dark bead and go through these two and skip this last top bead and continue in this direction if needed pull okay now I want to exit here and attach my earring finding Okay, and I'll go through this bead that's sticking out the most, which is the ninth bead counting from this red one. And this is the central bead because from both sides here and here I have eight beads. Okay, guys, and now I'm going to take my earring finding. Okay, and what I need to take is an, a yellow and an orange then my clasp my earring finding and then an orange and a yellow okay this is what i have on my needle and i'm going back in circle through this bead that's sticking out the most so now guys i have this now i want to reinforce but while reinforcing, I'm going to be adding an additional beads. Okay, here I take one additional bead and I go through these two orange beads and pull. Then again, one. And I go through the yellow and through this one here. Okay, now I will reinforce one more time. Okay, and in order to make a knot, I'm going through some beads in this direction. I'm making a loop. I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made. And I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. And I pull. And then, by the way, you could repeat this knot several more times. And when you're ready with the last knot, cut your thread. Okay, guys, so now my colorful lacy bead and earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make new tutorial, usually twice a week, and you will be inspired often. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorial. Tutorials. And you could also check my second channel, Bijutel Fast Clips, for new inspiration. Also, link in description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.